So I'm here with BTCC driver Matt Neal. So Matt, you've just done qualifying and you uh, qualified an amazing P3. Bear in mind that you had a uh, maximum ballast on you. Yeah, did check for that. I was uh, target was top six. So uh, to be third and in in such close touching distance of, of pole, yeah, really really pleased, and to have both the cars in the top three. Now, um, with uh, maximum ballast, you'll still keep it for uh, race one. You said at Donington that shouldn't affect you too much, just more going into and out of the braking zones. Um, what, 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 what are you then looking for? Is it just going to be a case of man maintaining it, or are you going to be go battling up, up with Aaron Smith? Well, there's obviously two things we've got here. We've got to set the fast, as fast a lap as we can for the grid for race two, so that's mindful. But, we're, you know, we're not meant to take the curbs for the first few laps, and that you need to take the curbs to put a lap time in, so it's going to be interesting to see who goes for the curves for the lap time and who plays it safe. Um, and Aaron, yeah, he's 60 kilos lighter than me, but um, it depends whether I can get with Flash and start working as a pair and gang up on, on him a bit. But um, Priya's behind me on the grid in the Beamer, fast starter, so priority one's probably got to see if I can stay in front of him and then work the way from there. Now, uh, this weekend, you've got a special type of compound to make sure the tires survive uh, the race long uh, uh, distance. What, 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 uh, what effect does it have on the car? If, if it has any effect, or is it just like racing with a normal tyre? Uh, yeah, Honda give us a, a harder construction and compound for this weekend for Thruxton. Uh, you can't really tell because we only use it at Thruxton. Um, and here is, it's very abrasive, so it does give a lot of mechanical grip anyway. But um, you've still got to be quite careful with the tyre. You know, if you run slightly too aggressive on the cambers or you start hitting the curbs early on, you know, they had a couple of failures in free practice as we're all trying to push the limits a wee bit. So I think. We're, even though the weight we're carrying, we're fairly comfortable. Um, you know that we should be able to make the race distance, but we'll be pushing the others as hard to try and push them into danger zone for sure. Now this season we've done uh, six races. There's been five different winners. You've won two of them. Um, that it's been going to be a very open season, uh, definitely, especially just after the two opening rounds. Yeah, I mean the Hondas are good here again, but they're always good at Thruxton, aren't they? It's our home circuit to Swindon. Um, they're great in the fast corners. The Type R especially is monstrous in the in the fast stuff. So that's why we were hopeful coming back here. But carrying the weight, I know going to Walton Park the next one. <laughs> I think we will get a proper bloody nose. But um, it's the way it is. I, I haven't got a problem with it because if you're carrying the carrying the weight, that means you've got points in the bag. So uh, I'd rather carry the weight. And finally, um, you had a very good uh, weekend out last time out at uh, Donington Park. Your son Henry uh, was at Donington Park recently. Uh, he had a bit of an incident. What was that like from a father's point of view, seeing that happen? It was okay. Uh, trip to the med centre from not being the one on the bed is slightly different. Um, it was just a learning thing. It's his first first uh, race at Donington and first roll of a car as well. So he, he did a few broke a few ducks that day. Um, just learning you know a lot of learning you know you forget what how much you've learned you know it's my 25th season in BTCC so got a bit under my belt yet but he's learning all the time and his brother's brother's having a cracking legend up in Knock Hill as well okay thank you very much for your time Matt and very good luck for the races tomorrow awesome thanks Lewis